to another video for GrowGreenAgroo.com. Uh, today's video segment, we're going to show you how to assemble a uh, hydroponic kit. This is called Water Farm by General Hydroponics. Um, it's a drip system. Uh, that, that's the kind of uh, hydroponic it is. Uh, there's different types. You know, there's oven and flow, there's flood and drain, and there's quite a, you know, whatever. There's a, if, if you're going to switch to hydro for you soil growers, just make sure and research the different types of hydro and different types of ways you can do it. And, you know, then you can pick uh, which ways best suitable for you. So anyway, uh, with this kit, it's about $40. It comes with everything you need to start out. Um, so we're going to show you exactly you know, what it comes with and then we're going to show you how to assemble it. We won't be showing you um, anything growing in this video, but we will be having a follow-up. Anyway, so this is what it comes with, if you want to pause and look, but I'll be going through them. So um, anyway, uh, number one, we got our hydrogen. This is our clay pebble. This is uh, our media that we'll be using. There's no nutrition value whatsoever in it. It's just to hold the plants in place. So you're going to have to feed with uh, nutrients for sure. Anyway, uh, number two on the list is our, um, our nutrients. So we got uh, Grow Micro and Bloom. So that's everything, well, not everything you need, but to start off anyway. Um, number three, uh, the four gallon reservoir, which is this right here. This is where your water is going to go and all your action, everything going down there. Um, number five, uh, or number four, this is your two gallon um, growing chamber, is what they call it. Uh, that's where your hydrant will be and your plant roots and everything like that. Uh, number five, we got our pump, which is the Grow Force. It says Elite 800 air pump, but whatever. I uh, got number six on the list. We got the drip ring assembly, which is this right here. That's where your water is going to be coming from to feed your plants. Uh, we'll show you that later. Um, and you're going to need your uh, a clip. That's your DLT clip. That's number seven. Number eight is your airline. That's going to be your clear tubing. Uh, number uh, nine is your pump, pumping column. This is this right here, which you guys will see in your kit. Um, number ten is your pumping support column, which we'll show what that's for a second. And then finally your drain, which uh, it's your blue tubing. And we'll show you how to assemble that. Anyway, uh, that's what everything that comes in the kit. And it also gives you a little hydroponic. A uh, little start, starter grow guide thing, which is really cool. So, anyway, you're gonna start off by removing this little bean here. So, just remove that first, and then um, yeah, we'll show you. Steps. And we're gonna go ahead and just go uh, over the steps with you. So, step number one you want to put your DLT clip um, into the reservoir as shown, which it shows you a picture and everything. So, make sure it's on the right area. There's gonna be uh, that and that on both sides. So, um, yeah, you don't put it here, you put it over on this side. So, we'll go ahead and put your clip in. Just like that. Okay, number two. Install the drain level tube by inserting the elbow piece and the rubber uh, grommet from the outside while supporting the blah blah blah. So, that's what, um, that's what this is right here. Your little blue thing. Now, this is going to go into the bottom right here. Okay, and once that's in, make sure that you support it on both sides and go ahead and put your tubing through the hole. Just like that. And now it says to put your uh, reservoir or your growing chamber inside. So it don't matter which uh, way you go as long as the holes are facing that way. Okay, and we we'll go ahead and turn the page here. Step number four, push the beveled end of the pumping column support tube, which is this right here, the brown piece. And how the picture shows is this part down. And you're going to head and push it through this hole right here. There's a little hole in here. You're going to push that down in there. And it says to barely uh, push it down until it's barely touching the bottom. So you're going to have to force it in and kind of play with it a little bit. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and attach your drip ring assembly with um, this, which is your puppy column assembly. And you're going to use the brown piece and put it at that tip, not at this piece. That's going to go down. So you're just going to go ahead and plug that in. Okay, 
and this is going to go in this tube right here. And make sure it's all the way up to the top like that. And sometimes it's easier yeah, to take this actually out and then do it instead of putting it in. Okay, and now your last, well, one of the second to last steps actually says to put the hydrant in first, which we'll show you that in a second. But um, you go, go ahead and take your pump out, and with your clear tubing, you put one end into the pump. This is your air pump. And make sure it's nice and snug. And then that plugs into the wall, obviously. And then this other end, you go ahead and put it right on top, this clear tubing right here. That'll come out. Make sure that's on there really snug too. Don't want any leaks. So that is done. Now it's ready to just put the hydrant in, which we'll do right now. Um, we'll go up a little bit. So if you need to, you can push this out of the way. Like that. So. Okay guys, and we are all set up here. Um, this is what it should look like when it's all done. There should be water coming out, um, you know, kind of like that, out of every hole. Um, if it's not coming out that fast, then you don't have enough water. So add more into all of them, we're pretty much dripping like that. And uh, as you can tell, it's a little, you can hear it, you know, but it's not too loud. So um, yeah, anyway, this is good for one plant. We'll be showing you another video later when we get it all hooked up and planting it and everything like that. And we'll be using our nutrients. But anyway, I hope this helped you guys um, assemble this. If you had one at home and you needed help assembling it, I hope it helped you out. And as always, stay tuned for more. And um, yeah, as a last bit of advice, this can turn. So make sure it's over all your clay pebbles and not over the side. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, take it easy, guys. Until next time, peace out.